Hello there guys, welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're talking about letting go. It, when you let go, you allow things to come to you. And I'm gonna explain exactly why today. This is gonna be a shorter video, but it's gonna be a strong video. So make sure you watch to the end, take some notes. This one is gonna be a big one. Bef uh, before I do that, if you like spirituality simplified, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. Also join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, and come check me out on Instagram. I'm over there now, doing a lot more posting. I'd love you to come and sign up. There is a post on my Instagram account that if you share and like it, you're in with a chance of winning a free session with me. So come check it out. Right guys, so why you must let go? You see, the thing is, is I, I believe in letting go like this. A lot of people get confused around letting go. They're like, I just need to stop. I need to not care about anything. And I think it's absolutely not true. I think you can care in a good way. But it's letting go is about letting go of the negative connotations of what you're desiring. Let me put it this way, right? So, for example, when I was trying to manifest more abundance, I wanted to create more abundance in my life. So I realized that the part that I have to let go of also, as well as letting go of the intention, was I needed to let go of part of me. I needed to let go of the part of me that was fearful around money. You see, letting go is not is, is about an emotional detachment. You see, your emotions are the driving energy forces of everything. See, everything without your emotion is meaningless. <clears throat> so if you lost your wallet, lost your house. If you didn't feel any emotion, it's, it doesn't mean anything, does it? So everything has meaning because of emotion. So I started to realize when it came to abundance that my meaning towards money is that I felt lack, I felt loss every time I spent it. So what I would do is I would never take the action of spending. I would never take the action of, of, of buying anything unless I felt at peace. Unless I felt so at ease with the idea of spending that money. And this is the idea of letting go in the broader sense. So we'll talk about it from the intentional sense in a minute. But the broader sense was I needed to let go of part of myself. Because you see, to manifest isn't to add anything to yourself. It's to let the part of yourself that is holding you back die. And then you resurrect wealth within yourself. You see, because wealth, health, harmony, love, beauty, and all these good things, they, they already exist within you. They already are there, my friends. So what we're trying to actually do is let go of the part of us that is actually stopping them from being a free-flowing channel of the divine energy within you. So when it came to abundance, it was like, I'm, I'm just scared. There's a bill. There's this. There's that. It always bothers me. It worries me. That bothers me. That worries me. And I just would live in this chaotic energy of fear. So it was like, I've just had enough of feeling this way. I'm going to actually change the way I feel. I'm going to let go of, of that part of myself. And I'm going to allow that part to die. A bit like the story of the resurrection. I'm going to put that part of me on the cross. It's going to die. And then I'm going to resurrect as a wealthy person in essence. So in a sense, really, what happened was, <clears throat> once I started to deal with my fear around money, I then also, from that place of peace that that created, could start to become intentional about attracting more. Now, you can do this with health as well. You see, what you do is you start to emotionally detach from the situation. So you accept where it is, you observe the emotions around the symptoms, and you detach. Once you detach, you start to notice the energy and it starts to release from you. At that point there, you are totally free because you're present. You see, letting go truly just brings you to presence. And we know that the present moment is the only creative energy. So from there, I've let go. I'm spending now with more of a freedom, which means I'm trusting that I will be supplied again. You see how it works. So now that I've got more freedom in that area and I'm spending, uh, and I'm spending with freedom, my money seems to be replenished so effortlessly. You see, there's laws and order to life. If you jump off uh, a cliff, no matter how much you let go, you're going to hit the ground. So we must start to work with these divine law and orders. So that we're thinking of the laws of mind, as Joseph Murphy would say. If I can diminish the part of me that, that is scared and thinks I'm poor, 
and I can now from that place of peace increase the part of me that believes in abundance and all my needs been met, eventually this one is going to take over so much that it has to express in my life and that was the case for me and it will be the case for you. You see letting go is about letting the part of you that's been so loud about the problem release too. This is the part that I think people forget because they go, no, make an intention about being wealthy, then forget about it for the rest of your life and watch out, it's going to come at some point. Now I'm saying work every day on letting go of that part of you that doesn't believe that you are guided, protected, that there is a divine presence within you that loves you, wants you healthy, successful, well in a most loving relationship, where it wants you to have wonderful things. This is what you need to remember. This is what we need to understand. We are divinely guided. There is a beautiful presence that wants to love you, supply you with all good things that you want. Are you willing to accept it? You see, the thing is, is most people are not willing to face the emotion of what's going wrong with them. They'd rather distract themselves. But letting go is a willingness to face that emotion, to relax behind it, to go through the discomfort of what that emotion feels like until it releases. And then it will then give you the space to be present, to be able to be creative. This is why it works. This is why my clients are having mad manifestations and healings, because it works. When you let go, there is nothing you need to add to yourself. You need to let go of the parts of you that are clinging on, that say, no, this is who we are. No, it's not. Who you are is the one who watches. Who you are is whole and perfect. Who you are is loved. Who you are is abundant. Who you are is actually healthy. When you start to realise that, you'll go, I've just had enough of feeling the opposite then. I'm going to change the feeling. I'm going to let go of those feelings. And I'm going to resurrect health, abundance and all of these things within me. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching today. Take care.